Hi, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to demystify dependency injection a bit. I have the impression that dependency injection is still a myth. I get lots of questions how it actually works and what's the magic behind annotation. So let's create a very simple inject injector from scratch to show you how it actually works. Uh, my own injection. A simple Java project with the main method. And what we what I would like to start with is with uh, a annotation. And annotation is actually an looks like an interface. I would call that please inject. And this is annotation. So it has it looks like that. I have to specify whether it is visible. For reflection or not and actually all annotations uh, java e related annotations have to be runtime because only then the um, reflection um, facility in java is able to locate to find them and target i have to specify this is a hint for the compiler what what can be annotated and i decided to just annotate fields and yeah and now i would just need a class I would say uh, this is the uh, presenter and we need another class I would call that the boundary and I would like to inject the presenter into the presenter the boundary so what I would like to do is just to inject please inject oh not please please inject so wrong one and then see whether it works so and now let's build that so we have a boundary and we have a presenter which would like to have a boundary so uh, and my own injection let's assume this is the container so first thing to do is to load the class so I would like to class uh, boundary, but usually I will, would like to load it dynamically from with a string because I don't like to be tied to the particular implementation. Actually, if you think about this, the uh, container also does that. So it just scans for classes at deployment time, searches for the classes with a string, and loads them. Uh, so I would like to search for the presenter and throw some exceptions and what I get back is a class so what I can do I can just uh, f uh, get all fields get declared fields and I get an array of fields and now I would like to search for fields with an annotation so I will ask the field field give me please give me please the annotation of type uh, please inject and now I will get back the annotation or null and then I can ask if annotation is null so now I know the field is annotated with the please inject annotation and now I can even ask the field for the type so okay what type you are field and I get back the type and this is actually the type should be there the boundary so what I can do then is to say okay now I have the type so I could actually instantiate the other side <coughs> the other side side so and now we have the instance of the other side what I would like also have to have the um, the instance of the left side. So I would say class new instance, and let's say this is the left side. For now, this is the presenter. The other side. So now we can say uh, field set left size and the other size. Okay, to increase maintainability, I would call that right size. Okay. 
so now it should be injected and now I can call say okay after all uh, left size which is the presenter and I will just to print it out and see whether it works run and as you can see so we have the boundary field is injected so we built with 30 lines of code and an injection provider which actually works but you could argue it only works because this isn't private which is actually true so if I declare it private and rerun it I get illegal access exception it doesn't work but private is more more or less uh, like a like a hint. So what I could do right now is to say uh, field set accessible true, and now it even works with private. And to show you that it actually works, I can say here to string boundary. Hey boundary and rerun it and you see boundary hey boundary so the presenter has a field with uh, with injected boundary so um, happy injection it actually you this actually similar what happens behind the scenes except the container has to uh, better manage the instances doesn't doesn't create an instance for every injection but uh, caches them independently whether this is an EJB or CDI bean but actually works that way. So in J hacking, and uh, by the way, you experience the first 10, 10 minutes of uh, the Bootstrap uh, Air Hacks workshop at the uh, Munich airport. And by the way, I built also um, a similar injection for a JavaFX project called um, Afterburner. So it's a small um, yeah, injection framework even. So you can just look at that, but this is still one class with about 100 lines of code. So thank you for watching and see you one of the upcoming conferences, workshops or one whatever or or Java one. Okay, thank you.